Hey guys, Med School Med Easy here with another medical topic to discuss. Today we'll be talking about the lethal triad or the trauma triad or the uh, lethal triad of death. <clears throat> that is a three-part series that uh, leads to a uh, what was described as a bloody vicious cycle in 1982 by the uh, original study that described it. Um, and this is what causes the majority of trauma deaths. Um, trauma is still the majority, excuse me, the uh, uh, primary cause of death in people ages 1 to 44. Um, and most of those trauma deaths occur because of hemorrhagic shock or hypovolemic shock or loss of blood volume. So the three parts of the lethal triad are <clears throat> coagulopathy, which means your uh, coagulation factors aren't working as well as they should. This can be because of dilution, because of consumption, um, because of low temperature or acidosis, um, or for a lot of different reasons. Uh, the second part of this triad triad is uh, acidosis, so specifically metabolic acidosis, like an increase in lactic acid and inability to clear it. Um, this can be caused by lack of perfusion of end organs, causing anaerobic um, metabolism that then increases um, your acidotic products and your acidosis. Um, and then <clears throat> the third part here is hypothermia, low temperature. This can be caused by you know, being out in the cold too long can be caused by lack of perfusion. Um, it can be caused by lack of cardiac output. Um, all of these things are all multifactorial, especially in your trauma patients. And why they call this a lethal triad is because uh, these three things are all interrelated and all affect each other, right? So if you are hypothermic, for example, um, you will become coagulopathic because those proteins that constitute your uh, clotting factors won't function like they normally should, and so then you'll bleed. Um, you'll also become acidotic because with uh, you know hypothermia and decreased cardiac output, um, you, you won't be able to clear uh, your acids as well as you normally would. Um, same thing works with the other two. I'm sure you can think of examples of how acidosis would affect you know protein uh, proteins that we use to clot our blood. And again, this is called the lethal triad. Um, in times like this, um, this is where damage control surgery is a necessity to save some of these uh, patients, your massive transfusion protocols to replete uh, coagulation factors, um, and then also to not dwell too long in the trauma bay or the OR, and rather to get that trauma patient um, or any patient experiencing this to the ICU to resuscitate them uh, and try to get them to live to you know, fight another day. All right, guys, that's the lethal triad of trauma.